What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the wireless gaming mouse, the Logitech G602. In the box, you're going to get a USB extender cable, a manual, and some other random paperwork. The mouse does come with a small dongle and the batteries are pre-installed. There's also a little slot here that holds the USB dongle so you can carry this with you, you can travel with it. There's a physical on-off switch and this switch here is for a performance and endurance mode. The buttons are very solid. The wheel uh, doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. Now I'm going to show you guys how to download and install and use the utility software for the mouse. Go to the support tab. The downloads tab from there. and then you're gonna download the Logitech software. Make sure you select 32 or 64 bit depending on your operating system. Once that finishes downloading, you're gonna run it and install the software. Once the software finishes, you're just gonna go ahead and uh, click finish. Now, when the software runs, it's gonna basically show you all of your Logitech stuff that's installed. I currently have a webcam and a mouse, that's why it's showing both of those. You're going to want to click on the mouse, and from here you can change all of the button settings as well as the DPI. Right now these two top buttons are mapped to the DPI. I went ahead and changed these to uh, what I use for gaming. With the software you can also change the middle scroll wheel click once you're done with your layout and you have it the way that you want it you're gonna wanna go up here and click export and that'll bring up a dialog box and save that as whatever you want that profile to be named this one I named seven days to die profile that's the game that I normally play with this mouse or have been playing with this mouse so everything is mapped to that. If you want to change profiles, you go up to profile and click import. You select one of the profiles that you've made and double click it and it will change all of your buttons to the profile that you have selected. In the software, you can also change the DPI settings level. I currently have it on, I think, 1500. And you can also choose the report rate, which I currently have set to 500. This is the reports per second. Uh, you can change it to 250 or also 125. One of the things I will say about this mouse is that uh, the way that I hold the mouse with the claw grip, these two front buttons on the side are almost impossible for me to reach comfortably. I actually have to lift my hand up to touch them. That is 
kind of unfortunate because I I I don't even map these two front buttons because I can't I can't use them the way that I hold a mouse, along with this front button right here. I I can't use this one either. The way that I have to reach for it, I'd rather just you know use the key on the keyboard that that should be mapped to this. So I don't even use this this front button or these two buttons, which is kind of unfortunate because that you know, pretty much takes away three buttons for me for this mouse. Uh, the only way that you can reach every button is if you have the the full palm grip, which I think is really uncomfortable. I don't ever use it, but you can reach all the buttons if you do use that grip. The only thing, if you use the palm grip, these two buttons right here on the side, these two buttons are really hard to, uh, to reach. It's not that it's hard to reach, it's just kind of uncomfortable to get to these two. But the fact that they're so distinguished, it, you don't really ever miss hit a button. Uh, that, that's something that I've found is like, I've, I, I don't think since I've had the mouse about two weeks, I don't think I've hit a wrong button yet because they're, I don't know if you can tell, but they're kind of, they pop out, they're kind of come to a pointed edge and the, the, the way that they're spaced, uh, you, you really have to, to hit those buttons and you really have to move your fingers to be able to hit those buttons. The resolution on this mouse is between 250 and 2500 I believe I have mine set on 1500 which you can do out of the box from these two buttons uh, but I have these remapped so that this doesn't change the DPI anymore so I had to change it on the uh, software that you have to download to uh, map the buttons and change the DPI